Hello you beauties, how are you today? Well in your non shark infested homes I hope? Oh, what's that? Today we are doing top 10 movie shark attacks here on Most Amazing Top 10. Ah! Da -da, da -da, da -da. So I am Rebecca Felgate and today I thought I would wear all of the sequins for you just cuz YOLO. Today I'm gonna be your host through a whole bunch of crazy shark attack moments from films, it's all very exciting. But first up I want to hear from you guys, what is your favourite shark movie and why? Do you like Sharknado? It's a classic. Let me know in the comments section below. Also I want to dedicate this video to my best friend Holly Minge who absolutely loves sharks. Sharks! So with this video on top movie shark attacks, I thought we would start with the classic and classy attacks, then descend into utter shark attack chaos, because some of them are pretty crazy. So starting off our list at number 10, we have the moment that Jaws eats Quint from the classic movie Jaws. Jaws very much set the bar for shark attacks and was the first full on shark horror franchise. Made in 1975, Jaws was iconic in its day and considered quite the horror film. If you watch it back now it's kind of funny because special effects in the 70s aren't quite what they are today but there is no denying that this is a classic movie. Shortly after the line, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Jaws comes, bites the boat and uh oh, Quint is falling down the listing ship right into Jaws's jaws. <gasps> Unfortunately things don't go so well for Quint who is gobbled up but not before blood comes spurting out of his mouth, then he kind of paints the ocean red as he is eaten. Ugh, gruesome. In at number 9 we have some classic decapitation in Swamp Shark. Now Swamp Shark is a 2011 movie starring a few B-list gems that premiered on US channel sci-fi. The concept is essentially about a mutant shark that lives in a swamp that manages to infiltrate some American rivers and lakes. Uh oh, shark on the loose. It is a glorious romp through the swamp and there are many classic shark deaths. My favourite is when a guy is spying on a couple making out like a dirty little perv using binoculars, but uh oh, shark flies over him, nips off his head, blood everywhere, binoculars falling to the ground. I guess this is what you get if you're gonna be a little bit of a pervert, lesson learnt, the shark is a vigilante, he's gonna get you. Sharking it right up at number 8 we have Jerry Springer's death in Sharknado. Ah! Now I am sure you have your very own favourite shark attack from the Sharknado series because never a greater trilogy has ever existed let's be fair. Now if you aren't aware of Sharknado, firstly where have you guys been and secondly check it out right now, right now, maybe after the video, but then check it out. Sharknado is a series of films about sharks that manage to fly out of the sea falling on to LA. I mean sure, you've got pizza shark, you've got sharks that are chainsawed in half, you've got TV hosts stabbing sharks with heels, but my favourite Sharknado death is when Jerry Springer gets it. Jerry Springer plays a tourist at an amusement park, he wants his picture taken with what is a presumably dead shark on a rope, uh oh, as the picture's taken, shark wakes up, shark eats Jerry. Sad times. Getting brutal here at number 7, we have the shark eating a model in Avalanche Sharks. Wow, Avalanche Sharks. Avalanche Sharks, what a movie. This is very much a shark film for those who like a bit of snow and for those who like seeing ladies in bikinis. Rated as just 7 out of 100 on Rotten Tomatoes, Avalanche Sharks is about a bikini contest blighted by a shark avalanche. I mean, shark problems. Now the best death scene is when a model is walking along bitching at her boyfriend just being like me 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 me, but then a shark comes out of the snow and just eats her, uh oh, and she's literally like like bitten in half. We see her corpse like kind of moving along the ground trying to get help before she dies. It is brutal, it is gruesome, it is a good shark death. Getting snappy here at number 6 we have Jaws the Bond villain versus a shark in James Bond, The Spy Who Loved Me. I absolutely love this, not only is Jaws one of the best Bond villains ever, he looks like a shark. He has a fight with a shark, yes to sharks. After Bond captures Jaws with a metal detector, he is dropped in a pool to face a shark who Bond obviously thinks can kill him. But he would be wrong because Jaws is bad and you know what? He bites that shark to death. That's right, the human kills the shark. Halfway at number 5 is getting pretty crazy, we have a shark versus a plane in Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. 
Mega Shark vs Giant Octopus is a movie of dubious credibility that tells the tale of a deep sea shark and an octopus who are battling it out for power of the ocean. Innocent people are caught in the sharky crossfire. Now for me the greatest scene is very near the beginning, there's a plane flying in the sky, people are going on holiday but uh oh, look out the window, there's a shark jumping out the ocean, oh, takes one big bite of the plane and they go down. What a classic shark attack. Returning to a classic here at number 4, we have a skinny dipper versus Jaws from Jaws. If I were placing this list in order of like genuinely scary this could happen to me shark attacks, then this would probably be at number 1 as this is one of the best shark attack scenes I have seen in terms of the way it's shot. This iconic moment in Jaws sees a young teen called Chrissy who just wants to skinny dip in the ocean like any carefree hussy. She whips off her clothes, she's like ooh join me in the sea. She gets into the ocean, she's having a lovely time, but uh oh, up shot. An amazing shot, by the way. The music comes in, da da, da da, da da, da da, and poor Chrissy is then dragged underwater by a shark. It is powerful stuff. This is a really, really well directed scene. Good on you, Steven Spielberg. In at number three, we have Samuel Jackson's Deep Blue Death. Made in 1999, Deep Blue Sea is a film about scientists searching for the cure for Alzheimer's in an isolated research unit. But uh oh, there are sharks everywhere. Samuel plays researcher Russell Franklin, who delivers a moving speech towards the end of the film. Personally, I'm watching this thinking like, Samuel mate, you're standing a bit close next to that pool of water and we know there are sharks on the loose, but you know, I'm sure you got this. He finishes his speech about how everyone needs to stick together, but oh, wait. First, we're gonna seal off this Unexpected shark death, Samuel is gobbled up. Then we have an underwater shot of two sharks playing with his carcass, tearing it apart. I mean, for me, this is a brutal shark attack. In at number two, one of my favorite shark moments in a film ever is frigging sharks with frigging lasers on their frigging heads from Austin Powers. Short and sweet, but what could be better than a shark laser combo? Nothing. Those that know the Austin Powers franchise will know that all Dr. Evil wants for Christmas slash life is sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. He says that every creature deserves a warm meal. After a series of unfortunate events that involve a distinct lack of sharks and abundance of ill tempered sea bass. Right. They are mutated. His son Scott Evil finally comes through. They're revealed in their tanks, they're having a lovely time with their laser headpieces. And then a sailor walks along and uh oh, boom! <laughs> he is obliterated. I mean this has to be one of the best shark attacks ever because lasers. Ok guys, so we have reached that point in our most amazing top 10 best movie shark attacks ever, the things we have seen. We have seen sharks eating aeroplanes, we have seen frigging sharks with frigging lasers, we have seen like sharks decapitating people, eating skinny dippers, but what could possibly be at our number one spot in the best movie shark attacks ever? Oh drum roll. At number one, we have a man who drinks a shark, eating him from the inside from the movie Ghost Shark. What a classic. 2013 Canadian horror movie Ghost Shark was arguably even more ridiculous than Sharknado. Essentially the premise with Ghost Shark is that shark killed on a fishing trip comes back from the spirit world seeking revenge. Now this shark doesn't need to live in the sea, any body of water is good enough. Now there are some classic deaths in this movie, one involving a slip and slide which is priceless, but there is one clear winner in the movie for me. This happens to be one of the most original and hilarious shark attacks that has ever Ever happened in a movie ever. It is ingenious. If ghost sharks was real, you probably wouldn't go near the bath or the pool or the pond, but you know, you wouldn't think about not drinking water. In the movie, a guy is in a police station, he takes a drink from the water cooler, but uh oh, he doesn't know that ghost shark is living in there. As he takes a sip, it becomes clear that ghost shark is inside him. Ghost shark then proceeds to chomp on his insides, the guy spits blood, and then the creme de la creme, ghost shark grows, expands, splits the guy in half, and emerges like a phoenix from the ashes as the ghost shark. I mean, this is crazy, but I love it. What a shark attack. What an unexpected shark attack. I mean, 
mean, there's just blood and guts and sharks everywhere. What more could you want from a movie shark attack? So that has been most amazing top 10 with the top 10 best movie shark attacks. What did you think? Did I miss anything out? Let me know in the comments section below. I am Rebecca Felgate. I love sequins, which is very, very clear and very, very true. I also love sharks. Hooray! Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos. Until next time. Whew.